Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we will learn about methods in Groovy and methods are also called as functions and we will go very basic and learn what is a method, how to create methods, method parameters, return types and instance methods. So let's get started and if we have to define method, I can say method is a block of code or I can say this is a named block of code so a block of code with a name and it makes our code modular and reusable and method can take some parameters or arguments that we will learn and it can also have a return type so method can also return something and we will also learn that so let me go to my Eclipse and here is our project I will go to the package folder do a right click new other and search for groovy and I will create a groovy type and groovy class and I will name this as methods and finish so here I do not need a class I will also show you how to create methods in class but for now uh, to create a very simple method we use a def keyword and then the method name so whatever name you want to give to your method you can put the name here and then these brackets and then a curly bracket start and a curly bracket close so this is a method and inside this I can write my code so for example I say this method name is uh, print hello and inside the method I will write a code println and I will just say hello so this is our method but if I run this script now so if I do a right click and say run as I will run as a Java application and you can see nothing is running I can also run as a groovy script so if I do a right click and say run as I am not getting the option of groovy script I will go to run configurations and here I will see where is Groovy script and it is here and I will say new and yes methods is here this is my main class I will say run and you can see when I run this nothing is happening nothing is printing on the console and that is why that is because we are not actually calling this method so we have to call this method so that this can be executed so I will call this and to call the method I just have to give the method name for example I will say print hello and of course with the brackets and if I run this now you can see it is now going into the method or the function and then executing whatever is the code inside the function so this is a very simple method now we can also have arguments or parameters inside the method so for example if I create a simple method for sum and here in this bracket I can actually take arguments or parameters and I can also define the type so for example I want to take two numbers of integer type I can say int a int b and then curly bracket start and then the code inside the method so here I will say println sum is and I will do sum of a plus b so here you can see in this method we are taking two parameters or arguments now if I call this method if I call sum and if I press control spacebar on my keyboard you can see it has a uh, completed auto completed this and it is also asking us to give us give the function two arguments so I will say 5 and 2 and I will run this and you can see it is saying sum is 7 so 5 goes into a which is the first parameter 2 goes into b which is the second parameter and then it prints sum is and calculates a plus b and prints it for us so it says sum is 7 now what if I do not give this arguments here now here our function is expecting arguments or parameters but we are not giving here so in this case if I run this you can see we are getting an exception and here if I expand this and show you so you can see it is saying no signature 
of method sum is applicable for values so we do not have any method or like sum where there is, are no parameters so in this case we have to give the parameters now we can also have default parameters for example I can say here a equals 10 and b equals 20 and in this case if the user do, does not provide any parameters while calling the function this default parameters will be taken so in this case if I call sum without any parameters and I run this let us see the output so here it is taking the default parameters and saying sum is 30 and we can also give some default parameters and some parameters we take from user so if I say sum and I pass 5 here so 5 will go into A and because we are not passing the second value B will be taken as 20 and it will print the sum if I run this now you can see the sum is now 25 now we can also have return types for example if I create a function or method for subtraction and here I take two parameters and then I just say def c equals a minus b and I will return c so I am returning the result of subtraction so in this case what we can do is if I call the sub function or method I will pass two arguments I will say 10 and 5 and here if I run this you can see it is not printing anything because inside the function we are just doing the calculation and returning and now because we are returning something I can catch this or store this return value so if I say def result and equals to subtraction or sub function 10 and 5 so whatever it is returning will get stored in result and then I can print the result so I will say print ln result is and I will print result variable here so if I run this now you can see it is saying result is 5 so you can have return types and then uh, we can also have instance methods so for example in case you are using classes I will show you an example I will again go to my package do a right click new other and groovy type and I will create another class by the name methods2 and I will say next and here I am also creating a main method and say finish so here you can see we have a class and then a main method now here if I create any function I will say def my method and I am just printing I am inside my method so now if I have to call this from any other class or any other function as well I can create instance for this method so I can create an instance for I can create an object for the class and then call this method so for example if I show you within this class in the main method I can say the class name which is method2 and I can give any variable like abc or I can say my function equals new and again the class name method2 with brackets so here we have created a object for the class method2 and we have given it, given it a name my function and now using this my function object I can call the methods and the properties of this class so you can see as soon as I say my function dot it is showing us this my method which is a part of this class so I can call it like this and if I run this I will do a right click run as uh, let me run as a Java application and here it is printing I am inside my method so I am able to access using the object of the class now do not worry about objects in class as of now we are going to learn about it in detail but this is how you can also create instance 
methods and this was all about methods in a very easy way in Groovy. I hope this session was useful for you. Thank you for watching.